Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm just going to be showing you how to remove your free up body from your prime black edition carbon wheels. So if you've got a set of those and you're wondering how to remove your free up body for servicing, then I'll go ahead, I'll run through the steps. Right, so here we have the wheel. As you can see, this just happens to be a prime uh, black edition wheel. So disc. So you can see you've got your cassette and your disc, like so. So your first job is we remove the cassette off of the free hub on this side. Right, so what you'll need for this is something to hold your cassette or your chain whip or tool like so. Then you need a Shimano lock ring tool, if yours happens to be Shimano and the appropriate ratchet and socket to fit that, like so, or a big adjustable spanner, but don't recommend using one of them. Better off with a ratchet, just in case it slips, you could damage the lock ring. So we just undo this cassette off of here. like so and then if you've got your Shimano your plastic tool like that for your cassette holder then you can just go ahead and slide it off like so put that to one side and if yours got a spacer on it you can remove that and then what we do we spin the wheel round and just remove the uh, disc. Now it's the same, you can just use your lock ring tool again. These are centre lock discs. You fit that on there. And just undo your disc like that. Slide your disc off, put them to one side. And we're ready for the next step. Right, so the next step on this is if you look on the ends there, the axle, you can see there's a flat area there. And it's the same on the uh, this side, as you can see. There's a flat on there. So what you want for that is two, two 17mm spanners that's so 17 mil, and then what you do is you just place one on the drive side, like so, one on the non drive side, and then all we do is we're just going to hold the drive side, this one in place, and then we'll undo the non drive side, this one. So, anti-clockwise to undo it. So put your spanner on there and just undo it. It should come undone really easily. It should just literally fall undone. So once you've cracked it undone, turn it round, like so, and undo. The cap off the end, the end cap there, undo that. And then you're left with, you see the thread sticking out there, on there. Now what you do is move back round to the drive side. You should just be able to pull off the free hub with the axle in one piece, like so. So you have it. As you can see. And then what you can do is just pull your axle out the middle like so. And what you want to be doing is you can just check the bearings in them. There's a spacer in the end, take that out. Collar, like so. And then 
there's a bearing up inside so you can just check that it spins okay on your finger it's not gravelly or anything like that, it doesn't feel rough, it should spin nice and smooth and it's the same on this end just check the bearing there as well there's just a dust cap on, on the end there, rubber seal there on the end see the bearings behind that, so I'll just show you that right so the cover on the end there rubber cover, if you get a uh, small screwdriver you can put it in like so under it obviously you can stand that like so on a bench or on the floor and then you can just go around gently prising that up until it comes out like so they're just rubber there and they're hard plastic around the edge so then you can see bearing in the end just there so you can check that because the bearings in them, what happens is, even if you wash your bike with a hose pipe, say, or you're riding in the wet, it doesn't make any difference. The water gets into these bearings here and they wear out quickly, especially if you're riding with these wheels in the winter time, or like I say, in, in the wet conditions, it makes no difference. It doesn't have to be winter, even if you wash your bike, there's water getting in there. The water gets in when you wash your bike. And that's what ruins the bearings quickly. So just check those. You should be checking them on a regular basis because if you haven't checked them before, then likely it is. It'll need a service. Definitely need a service because they could be worn out. So that's worth checking. And then, like I said, there's one up inside this end as well. And then what you can do if you haven't checked yours regularly, you can get rid of the grease. You can clean all the grease off off the poles there as you can see and then re-grease it you don't want too thick a grease on there because what happens is the poles tend to stick if the grease is too thick so you want something that's light enough so the poles still move freely right so before you go ahead and refit anything as you can see, what you want to do is just check your wheel bearings. Just make sure they're nice and smooth and easy rolling. They don't feel uh, gravelly or notchy or anything like that. So check those both sides. Because like I said before, the water can get in and these bearings can go bad very quickly. So it's worth checking these. One thing on these, also on the drive side, you can see there where the ratchet, where the uh, teeth are for the free hub. There is a little uh, rubber plastic seal there that does go on the end there so just make sure yeah, that hasn't fell out and you haven't lost it or anything like that. You can take it out, wipe it off, clean it and it just pops back in place in there like so. Right so we go and refit this before we do what you want to do is get some grease Grease the end where the bearing is, where the lock ring will go. Just put some grease over that bearing there, just to help keep the water out. Just a bit round on the inside there, mainly over the face of the bearing, like so. Then we spin it round. We just put a smear of grease in the end there, where the collar is going to sit. And then what you can do is you can put some grease over your over the poles on here just get a little paintbrush, put some grease over there, there's no grease the whole thing, the only thing that's moving is these the actual poles themselves, so you just grease them and then what you can go ahead and do is get your spacer your collar put that in the end when you do just put some grease on the inside of it like so and then, then what we do is, if you removed the seal over the end, what you want to do is go ahead and refit that 
and just push it into place like so make sure it's going in square like so and just until it stops moving like so and then what you can do ahead do get your axle before you put it back through the middle just put some grease put some grease over it so obviously this is going to go through the middle of the freer body so you don't want to get stuck on the uh, on the inside of there go ahead and just slide that through like so like that if your collar comes out like that just push it back in place right so before I put that back through from the drive side just put a light smear of grease over the axle over the rest of the axle there before you put it through and then all we do is get the assembly there and just slide it through until it's all the way in and just spin the wheel round to the disc side and then with your end cap like that what you want to do is just get some grease there and just put inside on the face of the bear in there just a smear over that again just to help keep the uh, the water out and then you can go ahead just hold the uh, drive side and then screw your cap on just until it stops moving like so and then get your two 11 mil spanners again just hold the uh, hold the drive side like so and then just literally nip up the non-drive side cap that's all you want to do just pinch it up and check that it spins okay like so just check your free hub as well that's that reinstalled right so we finish off by refitting your disc back on and if you've got a torque wrench you can torque it up 40 newton meters Turn the wheel round. We'll see if you had a spacer on there. Don't forget to refit that. Otherwise, you're wondering why your cassette's got play in it and your gears don't work properly. Put a bit of grease just on the on the uh, threads of the lock ring there. Just go ahead, just put a little bit of grease on that before you put it in. Make sure it's starting clean and it's not cross threading when you're putting that in as well. Again. If you've got a torque wrench then you can torque the lock ring up again that's 40 newton meters same as the disc so once you've done that you're ready to refit it to the bike right so there's the steps complete for you so you should be able to complete the job yourself so if you found the video helpful remember to give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content till next one ride safe and see you then